the next speaker is uh, Jeff Wetzel, a distinguished member of technical staff from Novati Technologies. And the title of his speech is How More Than More Technologies Impact Everyday Applications. Hey, good afternoon. Um, so, my name is Jeff Wetzel. I'm from Novati Technologies in Austin, Texas, USA. I'll talk about how some of our more than more technologies impact everyday applications. We call ourselves Novati based on the word innovation, and we've actually taken the advantage of trademarking the phrase, the center of innovation. We work with a wide variety of customers and with different applications that leverage our unique manufacturing and development technology in 3D, new materials, and integrate these things together to make a wide variety of, of products across uh, MEMS and MEMS, microfluidics, silicon photonics, so a lot of emphasis more so on, on now sensors. And often customers come to us with this concept of, I have a CMOS wafer, I'd like to build something new on top of it, and how best can we do that? It will be involving oops, things in, in terms of those other products that I mentioned earlier, and it happens more so in the back end of the line, what we call, um, where we can then bond this, this functionality onto a CMOS wafer. So the, the three areas that we focus on in Novati are our capabilities with handling new materials, novel elements in CMOS, much more so than what you would see in a typical CMOS factory. We, we are able to do heterogeneous integration of using different substrates or different materials with silicon, and we can fabricate these things together in a vertical stack. So then one a way of expressing that in a formula is that we can take wafers from many different foundries across the world, bring in to Novati to do our particular customized man development and manufacturing for a wide variety of markets and a wide variety of applications. So one particular example I'd like to step through is for sensors, and we're now focusing more on an integrated sensor platform that we'll announce at Semicon Europa. In this particular case, the work was done with Fermilab, and the particular application was for a high-energy beam line uh, detecting particle collisions. And what we were able to do then were to take different wafers, different wafer sizes, and you see that the 200 millimeter wafers could be independently um, designed for better performance because of this workflow that we des designed to, to eventually make this particular type of sensor. So I'll talk to the cartoon. You see a digital CMOS wafer and analog CMOS wafer that are bonded together and have an ability to either have uh, bonding pads on the sensor or on the CMOS wafer. And then these then in turn as a chip are bonded then to a wafer that is a sensor. And we, we talk then about preparing wafers as for the bonding interface. There's a later slide that comes that will explain this. We call it DBI, but the direct bond interconnect. Those two wafers then can be thinned, we can add through silicon vias to them and create them some array of bonding pads. The, the other side of the wafer then can be prepared again for uh, wafer stacking or bonding, but in this case we're actually doing a die to wafer bond step where the, the bonded pair here is then prepared, is actually diced and the, the chips are taken and selected and then bonded to the 150 millimeter sensor wafer. This, this afforded Fermilabs, uh, they did a direct comparison of this type of wafer stacking with uh, the normal sort of packaging ball bumping and got 
much better sensitivity, much lower noise. So I can provide a reference for that if anyone would like to follow up. In terms of what I mean by DBI, it's, it's a um, standard set of silicon process steps that you can do in Novati or most other copper-enabled CMOS factories, where the wafer is CMP'd, there's a plasma activation, which is typically a specialized reactive ion etching step using a production chamber. Perhaps the unique thing that you won't find in a CMOS fab is aligned bonding, and then the ability to thin this wafer and then drill a TSV to connect up to that interconnect that you made at the, at the uh, bonded interface. Other examples that we support in Novati are not always just related to the ability to stack wafers. We also can bring in specialized substrates. In this case, I give an example of gallium nitride on 111 silicon, where we are able to do the fabrication of a power amplifier using standard CMOS equipment, standard CMOS processing without any gold uh, to make um, in this case, something that might go into your cell phone in the future. Another example is indium phosphide on silicon. This particular example is a little more involved in that the CMOS wafer gets prepared for the ability to do dye to wafer bonding of uh, compound semiconductors, which can laze or modulate photonic signals. These then get integrated in with the SOI wafer to form waveguides and, and integrate with a CMOS circuit. So in Novati, we have this facility. Um, it's run as a production fab, but it supports development as well as small volume production. We, we have over 2,000, over 25,000, pardon me, recipes. And this is based on a long-term sort of um, establishment of this fab originally as the Semitech fab in Austin, Texas. We can do uh, contact lithography through 193 lithography. Also, we have online um, integrated testing and analytical capability. So what a Novati provides to our customer base is a smaller, flexible, leading edge, nanofabrication partner that can rapidly prototype and commercialize new technology. Uh, being able to be closer to the leading edge and being able to scale that matters to our customers. We also offer a much easier transition to production. We, since we run as a factory that's under SPC control, there's much less variability and, and some of our customers say less weirdness than compared to say a university environment. And we work hard to bring the, the, uh, the engineering charges into a manageable budget. So we believe that universities and research institutions are great to get started, but Novati provides this bridge uh, between the, the concept and then the rapid commercialization and production of new technology. Thank you very much.